You can never have too many honeycomb tablets in the wild, it seems, and today we have our fourth such tablet. I'm Eric Franklin, and today we'll take a first look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Obviously named for its 10.1 inch screen, the 10.1 is a Google Experience tablet, which means its UI is exactly the same as the Zoom running Android 3.0.1. It has a Tigra 2 dual core CPU and a 1280 by 800 resolution. Design wise, however, the 10.1 has much more in common with the iPad 2 than the Zoom. We don't have a micrometer to confirm this, but just from feel and eyeballing them side by side, the 10.1 is just as thin as the iPad 2. In addition, it's actually slightly lighter than the iPad 2, but is about half an inch longer and a quarter inch wider. However, the most intriguing detail of the 10.1 isn't what it has, but what it doesn't have. The 10.1 sports a clean design with no mini USB or mini or micro HDMI ports. What you do get is a universal port that does allow you to connect to a computer via USB, speakers on either side of the tablet, a headphone jack, volume rocker, power, and front and rear facing cameras. So far, the only disappointing design decision is the plastic back, which makes the tablet feel less solid than the iPad 2 and kind of looks like cheap kitchen wallpaper. Donald Bell did mention that he thought it was cute though. To each his own, I guess. This is the Wi-Fi only version of the 10.1 with no word on when we will see cellular versions. There's also no word on price just yet, but the 10.1 will be available on June 8th. Once again, this is Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1.